Time to talk about your favourite player, Graham. <laughs> you saw in the uh, the clips there the influence that Paul Pogba had in the semi final win over Spurs. Did he show that day how good he can be? No. 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 Listen, he's a young man with talent. A young man, for me, doesn't fully understand the game yet. Whether that comes because he must be, is he 24, 25 now? But you can't deny he's got he's got technique of a type. He just shows a bit of strength here. That's a foul, in my opinion. No bottom that high. But, you know, lovely way to pass for Sanchez. Yeah, he's got lovely technique. You see him get turned here as a goal. But there's, there's something missing. A large part of the game for me, if not the largest part, is understanding the game. Mm. I don't see him understanding that midfield role yet. And that's a wee bit scary at 24, 25. He, can he ping the ball? Yes. Can he fly it? And has he got every club in the bag yet? Is he a wonderful athlete? Yeah, I don't think I don't think we see him using his athleticism nearly enough. By that, I want to see him getting the box at every opportunity. He sees himself more as a playmaker. Give me the ball, I'll be the one that plays cute and clever passes. That's not that might come eventually. Mm. But right now, use your asset, son. Your asset, the God-given thing you've got above everything else, is the most wonderful athleticism. You know, when the minute, minute the ball goes wide, get yourself in the box. Six foot four, arriving late in the box, he'd get a ton of goals. Right now, he's sitting with six goals. Not er enough. Early on in the season, they beat Swansea 4 0 away. And Mourinho came out with a quote afterwards I let the horses run free. Meaning, like. Yeah. I think they've had the reins on a lot this season. And do you think, is, is, that, is that the issue? Because there's been a recurring sort of niggle between Mourinho and Pogba. And it seems to be that Mourinho says, look, I know you can do it. You can do. It. You did it against Man City in the, in the game, the comeback game. Brilliant that day, as Graham says, arriving in the box. But then the next week, mightn't produce it. Is it just consistency and, and, and producing it game after game, indeed on big days like well, this? Well, I think the Man City game summed up, you know, Pogba. He was anonymous first half. Could have been four, Graham. Man City, mm -hmm. four up. Second half, the reins are off. We've got to go for this. And he showed what he can really do. Now, that, that has to be done within the framework of the team, obviously. But there are holding midfielders like Herrera and Maric. And maybe if you maybe give him more of a free role. I agree with Graham. His game is not pinging 50, 60 yard passes. His game is box to box. He played with Perlo. Exactly. And I think he sees himself as a Perlo type. Yeah. Now, that might develop late mm. 20s, maybe 30. But he isn't that now. What Use what God gave you. What about that comment that he made after that City game that it was uh, Michael Carrick had told him to get into the box more, that maybe he just needs a bit of better guidance that he well, might be getting from Mourinho? I, I, I think he, one of the, part of the problem was he, he plays the two with Matic yeah. for a lot, the earlier part of the season and he was undisciplined against the better teams. He doesn't have the instinct that Graham has often commented about, it, the instinct to track back and do it quickly and sprint back into position when you lose possession. Now, what Mourinho was doing... He's actually changed the team. He sacrificed one of the front players again, Marshall, Rashford. Rashford getting a start today because Lukaku is obviously not 100% fit. He sacrificed one of them to put Herrera into the team and, and play Pogba on the left-hand side. A, a real turning point for them was when Spurs beat them in January at Wembley 2 nothing, very easily, mm -hmm. and they looked like they were disorganised. It was a most un marino like performance. They were, they were shambolic in the middle. Spurs ran amok. Yeah. He put Herrera in... What he did in the semi-final against Southampton, Herrero's role was to stop Ericsson and Ali running the game for Spurs. And he does that type of job very effectively. Yeah, I think, I think we have a, a piece of Herrera 